This video does not condone the use of performance enhancement drugs, and the information provided here is solely for educational purposes only. Hey there, brothers. Once again, Larry at your service, giving you everything you need to know about anabolic steroids. In this video, I will share with you the most important information about testosterone injections. So, what is testosterone and how does it affect our body? Testosterone is a hormone produced primarily in the testicles for men and the ovaries and adrenal glands for women. Primarily, the hormone is essential to the development of male growth and to masculine characteristics. Testosterone production increases about 30 times more during adolescence and early adulthood. However, after early adulthood, it's natural for levels to drop slightly each year. And we all know we're not getting any younger. I believe that testosterone replacement therapy is the answer we should be seeking for in order to maintain the level of testosterone in my body. But remember guys, it is always important to employ a skilled professional to help you determine the best treatment plan and pick out the best form of testosterone to maximize your health goals. That being said, did you know that there are four common types of injectable testosterones? Testosterone enanthate, testosterone cipionate, testosterone propionate, and a testosterone blend called sustanon. Allow me to discuss briefly the differences among these types of treatments. Enanthate medium esters, meaning it has a medium rate of release. To start, a dose of approximately 200 to 300 milligrams of this form of testosterone is commonly administered via intramuscular injection every three to five days. Next, cipionate is considered a long-acting testosterone, metabolized in approximately seven to eight days. Similar to enanthate, treatments involving cipionate usually start with a dose of approximately 200 milligrams to 300 milligrams, but only administered every five days. Propionate, on the other hand, is a fast-releasing testosterone version. It can peak in the blood within hours of being administered and metabolized over three days. Injections should be administered every two to three days with 100 milligrams in every injection. Lastly, sustanon is a multi-ester substance consisting of four different testosterone esters. Testosterone propionate, testosterone phenylpropionate, testosterone isocaproate, and testosterone decanoate. Sustanon injections were developed for patients to receive both benefits of the faster and slower ester of testosterone. The use of a combination of short and long esters enable you to inject every two to three weeks with 250 milligrams in every injection and to enjoy the sudden onset of the fast ester and the long lastingness of the long esters. In my treatments, I would combine testosterone with DECA to increase mass and trenbolone to shred down. You can load the testosterone and the other substance in the same syringe when you inject. You may combine testosterone with orals such as Winstrol, Anivar, or d -ball. Testosterone is what we consider a base, meaning that you would use it while on almost any other substance. Failure to include testosterone while you're on Trenbolone or Decadurabolin may stop you from getting a hard-on while you're on gears. This is what we call Trendit or Decadit. In choosing the best treatment plan for you, you first have to determine your goal. Generally, testosterone is included to treat low sex drive, lack of energy, and a loss of muscle mass due to age. Furthermore, each type of testosterone ester may have its own purpose for inclusion. For instance, if you have medical conditions associated with a deficiency or absence of androgynous testosterone, either testosterone enanthate or cipionate are the treatment types that are known to be the best ones for you. However, if you need to compete and want a drier, grainier look and less water retention, testosterone propionate is the treatment for you. Testosterone propionate nowadays is included for its use to stimulate maximal muscle growth. As for the sustenon solution, it is used to prolong the therapeutic window following administration, which will lead to a more balanced level all throughout without having to inject often. So, you may wonder what benefits has it given me when I decided to increase my testosterone level through injection. Testosterone helps maintain a healthy heart and blood. As you may not yet know, testosterone helps red blood cell production through the bone marrow. 
Also, apart from an increase in muscle size and strength and decrease in fat mass, my bones became stronger. In fact, bone density increases with testosterone treatment. Not only that, but research also shows that men with higher ratios of total testosterone have reduced incidence of Alzheimer's disease. I could easily sense that I have developed better verbal memory and spatial abilities. And here's another bonus. It's heightened my libido and improved my mood. However, testosterone injection may also cause side effects such as acne, breast enlargement, deepening of voice, and higher cholesterol level. Testosterone injections may cause a decrease in the number of sperm produced, especially if it is used at a high dose and increases the risk of developing prostate cancer. In order for me to reduce side effects, my body has to undergo a post-cycle therapy wherein I take myself off of testosterone for a month or so and use Clomid, Novadex, and HCG to help my body learn how to make testosterone again. A proper post-cycle therapy will help my body start up testosterone production again in a matter of weeks. Testosterone injection has been proven to be an effective method in increasing the level of testosterone in the body. In administering the drug, however, always remember to run your PCT after your cycle. This has been your friend Larry. Till the next informational video.